The American Foundation for the Blind, in association with NV Access, presents Learn NVDA, an introduction to using your computer and getting online. Using the Internet Part 1 In this tutorial, we will be exploring how to use NVDA to access the internet. We will be using the Firefox web browser, but the principles are the same for the browsers too. In this first segment, we will focus on navigating through web content, but later we'll talk about some of the other features of Firefox. In an earlier tutorial, we walked through installing Firefox, so I'll go ahead and launch the Firefox using the Start menu. To do this, I'll press the Windows key on my keyboard and start typing Firefox. As I type, Windows will bring up what it thinks I'm looking for, so you can press enter as soon as you hear NVDA speak Mozilla Firefox. Cortana window, search box, edit, blank. F, I, M Mozilla Firefox, desktop app 1 of 10 level 1. Unknown. Default browser dialog Firefox is not currently set as your default browser. Would you like to make it your default browser? Use Firefox as my default browser button. Depending on your previous settings, you may be asked if you want to make Firefox your default browser when it's first launched. Since I want to use Firefox as my default browser, I'll press spacebar to accept. Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox start page document, search query edit collapse blank. Now Firefox is running and we're placed at the start page. Pressing Alt plus D will move our focus to the address bar. Navigation toolbar toolbar search or enter address combo box collapsed edit has auto complete blank. The address bar will allow you to directly navigate to a web page by its web address, which is also known as a URL. Let's go to AFB's main website. In the address bar, I'll type afb.org and press enter. When I do, NVDA will start reading the whole page after it loads, so I'll stop the speech with the control key. AF B.org slash selected instead. Mozilla Firefox start page document visit search query edit collapsed blank American Foundation for the Blind home page visit clickable link skip to content visited link AFB. Now we're on a web page, but before we start exploring, we should lay out a few important concepts. Just as print documents can be structured with styling such as headings, bulleted lists, and text blocks, Websites have structure as well, and NVDA can make use of this. Unlike print documents, however, web pages also have many kinds of interactive content. In this tutorial, we'll refer to any discrete piece of content on a web page as an element. If an element is interactive, we'll refer to it as a control. Each time we move to a new element, NVDA is going to speak information about it. In the Getting Started with Windows tutorial, we mentioned that NVDA figures out what to speak about each element based on its name, role, and optionally, the value of the element. The same holds for the web, so as NVDA is speaking, try to pick out keywords that will help you figure out what the element you're on actually represents, rather than just the content that it holds. There are many types of elements on the web, but the most common ones are headings, lists, graphics, and links. There are many types of input form controls as well, but we will cover those later in this tutorial. The most basic way to navigate through a web page is with the up and down arrows. This will move your focus to every element on the page in order, including non-interactive text. This is very tedious, so we'll move directly into some of the quicker ways to explore a page. The tab key will move your focus by interactive elements such as links and buttons, but usually skips over bulk text elements. I'll tab a few times to demonstrate. AFB American Foundation registered for the blind visited link homepage. List with four items, list with two items, smaller type link. You can hold shift and press tab to move backwards. Out of list, out of list, AFB American Foundation registered for the blind visited link homepage. Skip to content link. Tab is great for filling out forms because it will take you directly to all of the different interactive controls on a page. But it's helpful to be able to move to a specific kind of element as well. NVDA gives us that fine level of control with some single letter hotkeys to move to headings, lists, links, and others. One good strategy for reading a new page is to jump through it by heading to get a feel for the page's structure. On a web page, pressing the H key by itself will move to the next heading. I'll move forward by a few headings now by pressing the H key. List with five items about us link heading level two. Living with vision loss link heading level two. 
Programs and Services Link Heading Level 2. And, like the Tab key, when I hold Shift and press H, I move backwards by heading. Living with Vision Loss Link Heading Level 2. About Us Link Heading Level 2. You probably noticed that many of these elements combined roles. For example, this heading is in a list, and it's also a link. This is common, and it results in this element acting like all three roles. We can also navigate to the next link by pressing the K key. Like all of these single key commands, holding shift will move me backwards. I'll move through a few links now. List with eight items now impact link. Leadership and staff link. Helen Keller link. You can activate a link by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. This will either take you to a new page or a different part of the page you're currently on. With these basic commands, you can pretty effectively read a web page. I recommend you scan the page by heading and then use the up and down arrow keys once you've found something you're interested in. Before we explore some of the more advanced commands, I want to introduce NVDA's built-in help file called the Commands Quick Reference Guide. This guide is actually a web page that NVDA opens and includes a comprehensive list of NVDA commands. It's also another example of a well-structured web document that you can practice with. Let's open the Commands Quick Reference Guide from the NVDA menu. Open the NVDA menu by pressing NVDA plus N, then arrow down to Help. NVDA menu. Preferences submenu P. Tools submenu T. Help submenu H. Expand this submenu with the right arrow, then arrow down to Commands Quick Reference and press Enter to open it. User Guide U. Commands Quick Reference Q. NVDA 2016.2 Commands Quick Reference Mozilla Firefox. NVDA will open the Quick Reference in the default browser. If you watch the Firefox installation tutorial, you will recall that we allowed Firefox to set itself as our default browser. If you have a different browser set as default, that's okay too. The web content itself should be displayed the same on all browsers in most cases. Now we are in the Commands Quick Reference Guide, which works the same as any other web page. Recall from Part 1 that we can move through a page by heading using the H key. Getting started with NVDA Heading Level 2. NVDA Touch Gestures Heading Level 3. Touch Modes Heading Level 4. Headings can be nested into different levels to create an outline structure. I can move by a specific heading level by using the number key corresponding to the heading level I want. Let's move through a few headings at level 2 by pressing the 2 key. Navigating with NVDA Heading Level 2. Browse Mode Heading Level 2. Reading Mathematical Content Heading Level 2. This is a well-structured page, so it's a good demonstration for how headings can be used to outline a document. There's one more tool that we can use to get a clean view of certain key elements on the page, called the Elements List. This tool creates a list of headings, links, and landmarks on a page that we can quickly look through to get our bearings. We can open the Elements List with NVDA plus F7. If you're on a laptop, you may need to also hold the function key, since F keys often share functionality on laptops. Also recall from the hotkeys tutorial that you can use NVDA's input help function by pressing NVDA plus 1 to help locate keys on your keyboard. I'm going to hold the NVDA key and press F7 to open the elements list. Elements list dialog, tree view. The elements list dialog is now open. By default, we're placed in a list of links, but since there are no links on this page, the list is currently empty. Above the list are three radio buttons that allow you to change between showing links, headings, or landmarks. I'll press Shift plus Tab to go to this set of radio buttons. Type, grouping, links, radio button, check, Alt plus K. Now press down arrow to select the next option, which is headings. Headings, radio button, check, Alt plus H. I'll press Tab to go back to the list, which is now populated with all of the headings on the page. Tree view, reading mathematical content expanded for of seven level one. Now we can use the up and down arrows to easily navigate between headings. Notice that some of these items are labeled as expanded, which means that we can use the left arrow to collapse them. These collapsible items are top level headings that have subheadings within them. Level two interactive navigation one of one. Level one application specific features expanded five of seven. Press Enter with a heading selected to dismiss the elements list and navigate directly to that heading. 
and read application specific features heading level 2. The elements list is a great way to quickly browse the structure of a page by links, headings, or landmarks. In the next part of this tutorial, we will start out by looking at some browser-specific functionality, followed by some more advanced aspects of browsing the web, including filling out forms. For more Learn NVDA tutorials, visit afb.org slash learnnvda. This tutorial was presented with support from the Consumer Technology Association Foundation.